Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Amber Rose, also known as The Religious Hippie. You can basically follow me on any social media platform. Just type in The Religious Hippie and you will find me. Aren't these shirts awesome? I got a whole bunch of shirts from Catholic Connect. They have been a godsend. They are such an amazing organization. Their shirts are amazing. They sent me my microphone so I could do podcasts. They are just so amazing. I'm linking them below. Please go check them out. I absolutely love them. So today's video is about how to become Catholic, or maybe you just know somebody who's becoming Catholic and you're interested in how they're doing it. Maybe you yourself are interested in Catholicism. Whatever it might be, I'm going to offer you guys some tips and some resources and some RCIA guidance. So chances are, if you are interested in becoming Catholic, you've done a lot of research, which means you understand what we believe and you want to be a part of it, which is absolutely amazing. But there is so much more to learn, and you learn that in RCIA. RCIA stands for Rite of Christian Initiation for Adults. So in RCIA, you will be able to ask questions and you will get your questions answered, anything you have about Catholicism. You'll learn about all the nitty gritty details and the sacraments and everything like that. And then usually the class is about a year and it ends on Easter Vigil and that's when you will be received into the Catholic Church. You'll get to do all the sacraments and everything like that. It is truly beautiful. So in order to become Catholic, every convert needs to go through RCIA or they need to get one-on-one -on -one training with a priest who's willing to do that. This just ensures that you understand Catholicism and that you know all the details and all the important parts. So if you're interested in RCIA, you can contact your local Catholic parish. The receptionist should be able to give you more information as every church kind of has something a little different. Um, I mean, it's based on the same stuff, but it's just how they do things is going to be a little bit different. But yeah, just contact your local parish, tell them you're interested in converting into Catholicism and you're interested in their RCIA program. So I have a tip for you guys. If you guys are in RCIA, going to be in RCIA, or basically just want information about Catholicism, I guess, and that is buy a Catechism of the Catholic Church hard copy. You can always find it online for free, and I always suggest that for people just starting out, but if you're serious about coming into the Catholic Church, get a hard copy. This way you will always have it on you and you'll be able to read it and it'll just really help you understand Catholicism a lot more. Now I know at some points the catechism can be kind of dry, uninter uninteresting, like there are certain parts where it's just like, well this is boring, and that's true, that's, I think that's with any book really, but it's still really important that you have a hard copy of this book on hand. It can help with a lot of questions and things like that. Another tip I have for you guys that are going through RCIA, future, whatever, is to ask questions. They are there, the teachers and instructors are there to answer your questions. So if there's something you don't understand about Catholicism, then would be the time to ask. Be like, hey, I don't understand this about the Eucharist or this about Our Lady or this and and they if they are good teachers, which we all know there will be some bad teachers in a bunch, that's just with anything, but if they are good teachers, they will be more than willing to sit down with you with any questions you have or answer your questions while in class. Now let's just say that your RCIA teacher isn't the best or maybe you're just looking for more resources on Catholicism. These are my personal resources that I use all the time and think are very helpful. So the first resource I would actually suggest is Relevant Radio. They're on 9.50 a.m. and but if you don't have their channel, you can also download their app or even just go to their website and you can listen live to their radio show on there. Really not difficult. There are many ways to access their content. Relevant Radio is just an amazing resource for learning about Catholicism. They just touch on everyday topics in a Catholic viewpoint. They answer questions. It's just such an amazing show and I've learned so much from them. I specifically though have three favorites. Trending with Timory is one that I absolutely love. I love the Patrick Madrid show and I love the Kale Clark show. Those three are my top favorites. They go over so many questions that I have and I'm like, wow, the answer's right here. And they actually, you know, give you all the information you need from the Bible, from the catechism, from research. It's just such an amazing resource. Definitely take advantage of it. Okay, number two is Catholic Answers. Catholic Answers has a website, they have a YouTube channel, that I'm pretty sure they have a podcast, but I don't quote me on that. 
Um, but they are just an amazing resource. Literally any question you have about Catholicism, you can just type in your question like, um, what do Catholics believe about the Eucharist? And then putting Catholic answers at the end. And they give you so much like biblical references, catechism references. Overall, their apologetics is just amazing. And all of their books are phenomenal. I absolutely love them. So I think they are another great resource to use. Number three is the Catholic Talk Show. Now they have a YouTube channel and they also have a podcast that I listen to on Spotify. I love the diversity in their their videos and everything they just touch on really cool topics but also there is a you know a traditionalist there's a modern or catholic kind of guy and then they have a priest with them and overall i just love the atmosphere that they give off like they just have great conversations and overall i just learned so much from them so definitely go check them out number four is how to be christian i love this guy's YouTube channel. I think he's the funniest thing and he just handles so many, I don't know, just misconceptions and stuff with a light heart and just realize that people are prone to error and he just accepts that and he just makes his videos really funny and they're just really engaging, especially for me as somebody who likes humor. And overall, like he can defeat literally any heresy and he does, it's like he's not even trying, it's just, it comes so naturally to him. And I just absolutely love the fluidity of his channel, his videos, his humor. I definitely think he would be a great one to go check out. Next up is Keith Nestor. He is a convert from Protestantism to Catholicism. He was so deep into his Protestant faith that he actually became Catholic. Like, it was just really interesting to me. And his conversion story is just amazing. His YouTube channel is just awesome. And I love how personable he is. He It really feels like he's talking to you about his story. And overall, he just has so much good information in his videos that I highly suggest looking him up as well. All right, number six. Ascension Presents, specifically Father Mike Schmitz, although everyone on Ascension Presents I think is just absolutely amazing, but I really do like Father Mike Schmitz. His videos are just very entertaining and he talks really, really fast, so sometimes I have to go on YouTube and press that little button that slows it down just so I can, I don't know, comprehend what he's saying, but I absolutely love his energy. I think his heart is just so pure and I love how much love he just has for everybody. It's just so amazing. And also he's not afraid to speak his mind, but he does it in such a way you don't even feel like he's, you know, convicting you or anything like that. It's just like, wow, he's totally right. Like that is so something I need to do in my life or I didn't even know about that. Just in general, his videos are amazing. I also like Jackie and Bobby for relationship advice and just separate men and women advice. I just think they're also very good. All right, number seven. If you have a TV or you like watching TV, EWTN is the channel for you. This is a Catholic channel. It's just like any other channel. It has different shows on, it has different information, it has mass times. The thing is, is it's just completely 100% Catholic, and I absolutely love it so much. I used to watch this all the time as a kid, and honestly, they even have a website online that's kind of like a gaming thing for kids. I used to play on that all the time when I was younger, and there was like a dress-up game, and there was like, you know, you can light virtual candles, I don't know. I just absolutely loved this as a child. And they have movies and they have great TV shows like Archbishop Fulton Sheen. He's just amazing. If you haven't watched his show yet, you could probably find it on YouTube, honestly, but oh, I love Archbishop Fulton Sheen. He just was such an amazing man. I absolutely love him. And also um, Mother Angelica, she was also amazing. It's just there's so many great resources that EWTN has to offer. They have virtual mass, they have different TV shows. I just, oh, I love EWTN. I really do. But piggybacking off of the TV thing, if you still like watching TV, you can also get a formed.org, F-O-R-M-E-D.org. Now, if your parish has an account with Formed, then you will get it for free. All you have to do is type in your parish in the little text box thingy-majigger, and it'll pop up and you can get a free account. This is basically what I call like Netflix for Catholics. It has a whole bunch of Catholic movies, Lexio Divinos, you know, it has prayer, it has music, it has, you know, talk shows, it has 
it has a lot of stuff and I just I take advantage of it as much as I can just because there's so much great information and it also follows the liturgical calendar so if there's like a feast day or something there's a movie or video or Alexio Divino that goes up depending on what liturgical holiday it is or day it is in general and today's the 20th this is going out the 21st that's the pie, that's like beside the point but it's like they have videos about St. Sebastian on right now because it's his feast day. So I just think that's really cool that they go in line with the liturgical calendar and I absolutely love that. So the next resources I am going to suggest are some books. Now these specific books are ones that have really helped me grow in my faith and in my prayer life and understand things that maybe I didn't understand completely before and I just think these are great resources. Okay this one's going to be like an absolutely no-brainer but people are going to yell at me if I don't include it. Catholic Bible. I included it. It's here. It's here. Get a Catholic Bible. It has all the books. It's not missing any books. Get one of these. Very important. Very, very important. Okay, so the next books. The Beginning Apologetic series. This is book six. This is basically about Our Lady. I also have book one. I kind of go through them differently. Like, I just kind of skip between them. But these books are so amazing. They have so much information. They're small. They're readable. You could read this in a day if not less depending on what kind of reader you are. Um, there's just so much great information in here about Catholicism, about Our Lady, and each one, each um, series, like book in the series, touches on something different. So one is about the Eucharist, one is about Our Lady, one is about just the beginnings of Catholicism and everything like that. I highly suggest these books. The next one is one that I always suggest and that is an Essential Catholic Survival Guide by Catholic Answers. I just think this book is absolutely phenomenal. I just, there is so much information in here, and I feel like even though it's a thick book, I, I mean, I finished it, it's really not that long. Whatever your reading level is, it is a great book when learning about the different parts of Catholicism and how to defend it, where it is in the Bible, and everything like that. Catholicism is in the Bible. It is an amazing religion that was started by Jesus Christ in 33 AD, passed down through the disciples to where we are today. And it's matured organically, but it is just such an amazing, beautiful religion that was started by Jesus Christ. And in these books, you can really actually... Even though the, the chapters are a little shorter, they still dive in really deep into the biblical references, history, everything. I just, mm, I love this book. I could read it again and again. The next book we have is Letters to a Young Catholic. This book really put into perspective how things have changed through the generations and how certain things need to come back into tradition. And it's just really given me kind of a point of view of how things have kind of been altered. I, I don't really know how to explain it, but originally Catholics were like this huge thing, and we still are. We still very much so are. But Protestantism has grown so much as well that Protestantism was more weird back then than Catholicism because Catholicism was so widely accepted, and now it seems to be the opposite. And so it's just very interesting to see how it's explained in here and everything. And I just I love this book. The next book I suggest, which is no stranger to anybody. I like how my bookmark is still in here. Oh, I left it there because I wanted to quote it. <laughs> that makes sense. The Imitation of Christ. You guys hear me talk about this book all the time. It is one of my all-time favorite Catholic books. I can never get enough of this book. I want to reread it over and over again. I've highlighted so much in this book. Like, it's just such an amazing book and I only have like a couple pages left and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm a fast reader, but I just really want this book to last. I also have um, The Imitation of Mary, which I really want to start, but I also am not ready to let this book go because I just, I love it so much. All right, and last but not least, See How She Loves Us. These are the 50 approved Marian apparitions. It really just talks about them, goes in depth about the history, how they're approved and everything like that. A lot of times I feel like people who aren't Catholic think that the Pope is just like, oh, this guy's a saint because I make him a saint. No, there is so much science, history, research, and everything that goes into every approved Marian apparition, saint, um, anything like that, there is a lot that goes into it and I feel like people are just always kind of like, oh, the 
Pope just made him a saint or they just made him a saint. Like there's no proof. No, we have proof. There is, I mean, I could even do a whole video on that, but that would be a video for another time because that would be long. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there because a lot of times people think it's just like, oh, boom, saint. No, there's a lot of research. It takes years sometimes. But I just, oh my goodness, I love this book. There's just so many beautiful pictures and images and it just, ah, uh, it warms my heart. Absolutely love it. So with all those resources in your back pocket, I hope this can really kickstart you guys in your journey onto Catholicism or just learning about it if that is your intention as well. That's totally fine. Education is key. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!